Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we finally finished Plum Park and returned the teapot to dark blue in restoring the rightful regal tones. But we also delved into the Violet Passage, which we will finally explore this time. Where we saw a cannonball, and Huey was the one, and pirates. So let's get right into these swashbuckling adventures. Yar. I don't know. I'm gonna do a pirate accent at some point. So just put up with it. Because there's no avoiding it. I just need a color in all these spots and haha secret uh, you, you know what spin jumps are good cats I will happily take a spin jump I believe I talked to you last time so that's oh sneaky sneaky little spot there so that's painting a blooper uh the bloopers the pirates oh what could the answer be Oh my goodness, I was so bad at painting that in. I didn't expect a replica there. Okay then. Not only did the enemies hijack the ship, they're firing the cannon all willy-nilly. Talk about cheeky. Yeah! Don't scare me like that. I thought I'd been creamed by a cannonball. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah, maybe don't destroy the cover. Of the toads, they're using it for a reason. And it, uh, the bridge is out. And, oh my goodness, the yellow rescue squad is hopeless. Thanks for that, Mario. We gathered the five best yellow rescue squad members for this mission, but right now, we're at a stalemate with these guys. I'll keep an eye on the tide of battle from here. You go help the rest of the yellow rescue squad. You're useless. I almost missed a colorless spot. I almost missed two. Oh, not a good start. Especially because the levels are getting trickier with them. Now, I, much like many things, the yellow coin and all that, don't waste your paint trying to paint in the ocean. Good thing the cannonballs can only seem to go in the water. That is actually functioning as water. But I believe if there was a toad over here that we should help save. Yes, there was. Boom! Oh. Just as I thought, this barrel is made of paper. My work here is done. Look at him run off, thinking he's so clever. Everything's made out of paper in this world, except the things, I guess, and paint. That's it. Paint and paper, and then things. Oi! Look who it is, boys! Mr. Big Nose is here to stick his giant smell all where it doesn't belong. Buzz off, Mega Schnoz! We're searching for something important on this here ship. Yeah, an important secret about the Violet Isles. Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. No witnesses! So, as you might be able to guess, we're going to have to kill a lot of Shy Guys. Oh boy. So let's start off by picking something that's just going to annihilate all of them in one go. I mean, if you line up six enemies in a row, I'm going to use a Spiny. That's just going to happen. And no action commands because you're not Mario, you're something else. Okay, that was one action command. I wasn't sure if it would rebound. I tried. It was a bit late. But anyway, we have more Shy Guys. And more Toads. This pathetic weakling begged us to slap him out of his misery. Your turn to beg, pretty boy. I don't know if I should be giving him gangster voices. As in, like, Al Capone and all that. Or just the standard, like... Well, I'm using a big card for this one, I guess. Or just a standard pirate voice. Definitely not the Shy Guy voice, so these guys are too unique. Oh my goodness, the big lion jump is so powerful. Oh, I need more of them. Uh, uh, yes! A new card! 
And a duplicate already. Huh? I did it! I beat them! Those chumps never stood a chance against me. Oh, I really want to hammer some of those fesky squads. Now, as you can tell by this camera and that obvious... You can jump off the ship. Okay, the obvious rectangle in the back. You can put a thing card there, but just so you know, it's going to do absolutely nothing. Now, let's save this guy on the mat, on the, the, the bow. Yar! No one interrupts a good old-fashioned key hauling without paying the price. Which is another key hauling. Get him, boys! Where are all these shy guys coming from? <laughs> just hiding underneath the ship? Now, you look just like that last group. Which means you're gonna get the exact same treatment. A big line jump. Oh, a bam, a bam, 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 yeah! Ah, oh, I almost got the last one. It's so hard to keep the line jumps going. Wow! A sweaty palmed back and forth on the bow sprit of a ship. That was just like the movies. Uh, sweaty palms. More like you're the only one who had trouble there. And the last one. Yeah! Two for the price of one. I have no idea if I'm doing a good voice or not, but I'm not gonna stop. Let's use a big hammer and I don't really have anything else in the way of hammers, so let's use three small ones just to finish off the last two. Shy guys, I guess. And... Oh, I got a great! Nice! The timing changes every... What? 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 I... How did that kill? The... The... What? You never think it can happen to you, but here I am being saved by Mario. I'm such a toad. That's... An interesting... Whoa! He's a ninja. Slicing through the mist, paint will be speared here, spilled here today. The shy ninja strikes. He also speaks in haiku, apparently. Not that I can get my syllables going well. Now, the black shy guy is a very interesting and special fight in the fact that... I'm gonna show off a few things. In fact, I'm gonna load up three cards. I do not recommend the first one. The second two are both strategies. Two defeat this guy. Now, as you can see with this first attack, the shy guy, the black shy guy dodges every incoming attack. However, you can crumple him with the power, rendering him vulnerable to everything, or hit him with an attack that can't be directly dodged. An indirect attack. Or, you know, anything. Money! Not that I need it. Man, I, I love the thing animations in this. But yeah, try and hit him with an attack that will hit the whole area without directly affecting him. So a blaze hammer should work well. However, a fire flower won't. Whoa! That black shy guy was so fast, I couldn't track him with my naked eye. No wonder pirates wear eye patches. You know, so their eyes aren't naked when they fight ninjas. Best alone in the game! Oh, I love it so much! It was tough, but we've driven off the hijackers and rescued the rescue squad members. Let's head back to the jet. Seriously. That makes so much sense. You can't track ninjas with the naked eye. So you just put clothing on it so the eye isn't naked. Also, there's a little guy! All the way back there. And there's nothing I can do to help him. I'm sorry. You'll just have to wait there for another 20 episodes or however long it takes. Mr. Mario, sir, the ship recovery mission was a huge success. Thanks for your support. Yellow Rescue Squad members 6 through 10. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in the sacred forest immediately. Mario, thanks to you, we got our precious ship back. Actually, this ship belongs to our captain and he's currently, uh... Well, when the pirates attacked, he jumped onto a barrel and got marooned in that colourless water. I'm sorry to ask so many favours of you, but please go rescue our captain. Please! I wish we could help, but we can't sail through that colourless water. Unless... If we could track down a big paint star and repaint the sea, we could probably save your captain. We'll wait here for your return. Okay crew, back to the ship. And with that guys, we have dealt with the pirate menace. The music has unfortunately stopped, but in, you know, it was very repetitive anyway. But does that mean we are done today? Of course not, it's way too soon. Now, we might have to hold off our pirate adventures for later. I was not expecting that. So let's head over there, but as you can see, all the yellow rescue squad toads have gathered in the sacred forest. Y yeah, I'm not waiting for that thing to scroll all the way on screen. So we can finally pull up that turnip right after we see what this hollow peach has to say. Uh, wherever she is, are you down? No, she's got to be up here then. I don't know where else she would be. Yep, there she is. Okay, Peach, what do you have to say? Private message four. Mario, I want to tell you what I've seen. I was taken off the ship and led down a long hallway. There's no doubt about it, I'm inside Bowser's castle. But I don't really understand how that's possible or where the castle is located. We seem to be surrounded by fog or clouds. Regardless, I am unharmed. You may consider this hollow peach proof of life. I've no doubt that you'll rescue me. Mario, please hurry. Love, peach. I still don't know how to voice that. Should I go robot? Should I go peach? Uh, both? Because apparently I didn't think to do the peach voice until partway through and that just sounded like a whole bunch of ball squeaks. Anyway. So, perhaps Bowser's castle is in the sky? But she's not on an airship, it only took her this long in the game. Anyway, it's time to see what the Yellow Rescue Squad is capable of. Let's head into the Sacred Forest. Here we go. They're pulling. They're pulling. Roll call! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11! All 12 members of the Yellow Rescue Squad have arrived! Well, Yellow Rescue Squad, commence operation, turn up to your positions! Well, I guess we're already in position. Mind lending us a hand, Mario? You can bring up the wheel. Don't make this weird. Um, I wasn't thinking of that, but okay. Put your back into it, Mario! Bro! Mission accomplished! We've done it. Thanks for the help, Mario. Now that's a root vegetable. Wow, what a turnip. Magnificent. I think I could just turn into a vegetarian. That's one funky looking carrot. It's a turnip, man. It's a turnip. That's no normal turnip. That there is a free range organic turnip. Oh, he goes to the specialty supermarkets. You should slice that bad boy up and pickle it. Yum. So I showed up for this? I'm not really a vegetable guy, but what am I saying? I'm literally a vegetable guy. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Well, I, I hate to rain on your parade, but that does look like a thing. And we have to give everything a squeeze! You got turnip! This turnip is so big that you can't pull it out without 26 hands and a big heave-ho! 
Oh, we've made them all sad. That turn up sure got a good squeezing. No need to strangle it like that. Come on, show me an interesting one. The super turnip. Vegetarianism is a fad anyway. You heard it from Nintendo first, guys. You have issues, Mario. That torsion will never be that buff. Better to have loved and lost. I'm not sure I can agree with that statement, but I have no experience. Good night, sweet prince. I'll never forget you, giant turnip. <laughs> yeah, we managed to pull the turnip out, but the pipe came out too. The whole point of pulling the turnip out was to go through the pipe. Huh? What's that? Maybe try pulling on it. Little the green bit here. A new pipe grew out of the same spot. Nature works in mysterious ways. Just, you know what this means, right? Pipes in Paper Mario. In all Mario games. They're, they're not pipes. They're plants. Ah, finally, the forest is normal sized again. It seems that Kamek's magic didn't reach this far. The old sacred tree. Deep within the sacred forest, there lives an old sacred tree. It is said that those who wish upon the tree with a pure heart will see their wildest dreams come true. Well, I don't care about the Goomba, but I will happily take that. And let's paint in these spots and move onwards in the forest. Now that it's finally back to normal. Um. Wait a tick, Mario. Does that sign over there look a little strange to you? Weird. The writing on this sign is super tiny. Why do you think it is so small? And why am I whispering? I I I can't and probably do a large whisper with my mic setup. So that's the best you got. I'll take a tree. Come, all ye pure of heart. So Carrot's been up to it yet again, it seems. Instead of having a really big forest. Now it's really itty bitty tiny. Well, with a whole new level that I forgot existed, to be honest. I thought this was later in the game. With that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. Next time, we will explore the tiny little forest and find the old sacred tree. This is so little and itty bitty and minuscule. So, I will see you all later. Everybody, bye-bye. Uh,